you already know stress is your body's response to any kind of demand there are two different kinds of stresses the external stresses are caused by the environment for example and the internal stresses are something that happens within us it's like illnesses or diseases etc but did you know that there are both positive and negative sides of stress the positive side of stress is called as eustress and is generally a healthy form of stress which gives us positive feeling and makes us feel really good about ourselves for example getting a challenging work assignment or the excitement of winning a race um accomplishing a challenge or happiness felt when you give birth to your baby these are some of the uh, positive effects of stress typically eustress can help us get more productive and creative the opposite of eustress is distress which obviously is the negative side of stress this stress is persistent type and you need to watch out for because this can lead to anger anxiety depression and with repetitive exposure even burnout so while stress is inevitable this stress is not one of the questions you've asked me is how can i manage myself in the stressful situations i'm assuming you're talking about distress or the negative kind of stress so let's find out how Hey there, I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. Now, the best and the most effective way of managing stress is to be prepared for it. Is to have a strategy in place and mechanisms in place so that whenever you find yourself in that stressful situation, you can apply one of these techniques. So today, I want to share with you an effective technique that worked wonderfully for me, and it's really, really simple to follow. This technique is called as a stop technique, and you can apply this technique when you have recurring negative thoughts. Because most of the time, what is causing us stress, other than the environmental factors, is the things that we tell ourselves, is the stressful thoughts that are generated in our minds. So when you find yourself in this position, the first step that you need to do is to say the word stop. Just say the word aloud. Stop. When you say it aloud, you're basically breaking the cycle of the stressful thought. Then immediately take a long, deep breath. Breathe completely in and completely out. Our breath is an anchor that connects us to the present moment. So reconnect with it. The step number three is to observe. Notice what is happening with you. What is happening inside of you or outside of you? Where has your mind gone? What do you feel? What are you doing? Notice all these things. Then the fourth step is for you to proceed with what you were doing previously, or maybe not. The pause could have given you new information which you could course correct. So whatever you do, proceed mindfully. Stop is an acronym for stop, take a breath, observe. and proceed this mindful technique is part of the cognitive behavior therapy and is developed by john kabat-zinn using this mindful practice of stop you will be able to deescalate your stress even before it grows within you stop technique can help you recognize before your body becomes tense and correct it before the pain sets in the more you stop during the day the more you re-engage with reality and disengage from the habitual busyness of mind that's it for today the stop technique can look simple but it is extremely effective to break that cycle of negative thoughts so i urge you to try it and see how you're able to disengage yourself from the stressful situation there are many other techniques that you can use to manage stress in your life and next week i will be talking to the stress management expert like i've been telling you who will emphasize much more on how you handle stress in your life plus you guys have asked me a lot of questions which i am putting it forward to her and you can catch all of that sometime later this month that's it for today i leave you with this wonderful quote by frederick saunders brain cells create ideas stress kills those brain cells so stress is not such a good idea if you need more information on this uh, technique or any other technique to reduce stress in your life please reach out to me my details are there in the description below you can leave your feedback comment suggestions in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms i'm on thank you so much for watching if you find this video resourceful do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends who may need the stop technique in their lives and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me i'll see you next week bye